This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. X Tree, X Tree, read all about it. Mouse House buys out Bart Simpson. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Well, the big entertainment story that doesn't involve people doing naughty things Mm -hmm. is the intended merger, really a takeover, of Fox by Disney for what, at least at press time, was $52 billion. Still needs to get through the shareholders and the feds, Mm -hmm. but let's assume that all happens without a hitch. What does this actually impact? Now, Fox, when we say that, is technically known as 21st Century Fox, and News Corps. It's the former we're talking about. 20th Century Fox was formed in 1935 after a merger of Fox Film and 20th Century Pictures. 20th Century Fox owns them today and also owns the movie and TV production studios and their subsidiaries, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, the Fox TV Network, Fox News, Fox Business, Fox Sports Regional Channels, the Nat Geo Channels, the Fox-owned TV stations, 28 of those. 50% of Endemol Shine Group, a bunch of production companies. Mm-hmm. 33% of Hulu. A minority interest in Sky TV, which is UK's major satellite player. Mm-hmm. Star India, a media player in Asia. And the Fox catalog of TV and movies. Disney is technically the Walt Disney Company, formed in 1923, and includes movie and TV production studios, the Disney Parks, a merchandising arm, the ABC TV network, eight owned TV stations, ESPN and all its spin-offs, Freeform, A&E, History Channel, and Lifetime they have a 50% interest in. They own the Muppet Studios, Pixar, Marvel Entertainment and Studios, Lucasfilm, a host of production companies, 33% of Hulu, they have financial and real estate arms, and the ABC, Disney TV, and Movie Library. So the question then is, what moves over from Fox to Disney? Mm -hmm. Well, in terms of broadcast TV, the production studios and their library, including current shows, Simpsons, Family Guy, but not Futurama, because Sci-Fi bought it earlier this year. Well, that's lucky. Yeah. This Is Us, Empire, Modern Family, American Horror Story, Homeland, just examples of current shows. And then library of their older shows, including The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Hill Street Blues, MASH, 24, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So what happens to the Fox TV network? It stays with News Corps along with Fox News and the local TV stations. That's all to avoid FCC questions because Mm -hmm. then you have an issue of too much of or close to a monopoly. Yes. The problem is that... TV networks mostly broadcast shows made by their own studios because it's really the only way for them to make money on broadcast today. It has to be owned all by the same people. Mm -hmm. Fox would basically, as as a television network, would be an orphan with no home studio. So it's predicted they may choose to concentrate on reality and game shows, sports and news, and possibly phase out scripted programming Mm -hmm. entirely over time. Yeah. And then on cable TV, the Fox Sports channels, with the exception of FS1, merge with ESPN? FS1 is their big sports channel. Okay. And a lot of exclusive deals with Major League Baseball, NBA, and NHL teams. Sky, the largest media company in Europe, Fox owns 40%, and the Nat Geo channels and Star India, generating a much larger global reach outside of the Disney parks. Disney would become a majority owner of Hulu with Comcast slash NBC as a minority owner. Disney has already stated plans to create their own streaming service with exclusive content such as the Star Wars movies and the Marvel movies by 2019. Wither Hulu. A. Disney sells their piece to Comcast. B. Disney buys out Comcast and makes Hulu their new service. C. And this is what I think is going to happen. Disney has stated their new service will be family friendly. So they would keep Hulu just for the rest of the programming that isn't family friendly. It would be a place to put The Simpsons 
and Family Guy and other shows that are certainly not family friendly. Mm -hmm. So they would have both this Hulu that already exists, they would have this new service, and in fact they've already said they're going to be a, a third service that's going to be sports. Streaming. Wow. Speaking of The Simpsons, Fox owes a huge amount to the show. It got their network on the map. And they would probably run it until one of the major voice actors dies, even if then. Mm -hmm. But Disney owes nothing to the show, and ratings are dropping. So they might pull the plug after the current contract, which currently runs through season 30. They're in season 28 right now. Disney could also use Hulu's mechanism where you can add on other services. Like you can get Amazon Prime, I think, through it, and other services, and you pay one bill through Hulu. Hmm. Yeah. So they could use that for what we'll call Disney Flicks and Disney Sports, resulting in a whole new bundling concept. <laughs> then there's this company called BamTech, which most people don't know exists. But that's the streaming technology that was developed for Major League Baseball, and it's basically the state of the art for streaming in terms of background technology. It's now used by many players. Disney separately went from minority to majority stockholder earlier this oh, year. Oh, wow. So that'll come in handy. <laughs> in movies, again, the Fox production studio has a lot of franchises. The X-Men and Deadpool, Avatar, Planet of the Apes, Alien, Kingsman, Ice Age, the original Star Wars, a.k.a. Episode Four. So again, they kept that one piece. They, they sold all the rest of it to Disney, but not Episode Four. Huh. Yeah. Might we finally get an authorized New Hope Blu-ray minus the special edition? So the original edition without all the extra special effects in. They would also get the classic Fox fanfare music, maybe included in future Star Wars films. That would be great. Mm. Fantastic Four is in question. It's owned by a production company, not Fox, but Disney would have much more leverage to control it. Uh, the movie library, Home Alone, Die Hard, Night at the Museum... Those are all possibilities for more franchising. Fox Searchlight has won three Best Picture Oscars in the past decade. No Disney film has ever done that. Then there are the parks. And I think you can assume some of the Fox properties will show up at Disney World. Universal just spent millions building a Simpsons World of Springfield section of their Orlando Park. Now, they have a current contract, but will Disney renew such a contract when it comes up or say, nope, we want that now? There's also comic book publishing. Disney already owns Marvel, obviously, but Fox bought a minority stake in Boom Entertainment earlier this year. Boom does mostly licensed properties. Will Disney sell out their stake or try to buy it out and create a Marvel imprint called Boom? <laughs> These are all possibilities, and we just don't know until we get there. Yeah, And, and it's probably it, a year out. Yeah, and even if all of it is approved by the FCC yeah. and, and the stockholders. So exactly. there's still a little bit of leeway there, but you can imagine that we'll be talking about that in the future. Oh, yeah. And in the meantime, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Da 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 da